Good morning. This morning, no matter how many times we come together in the morning of loved ones, uh, lost of loved ones, it's never an easy moment. And this morning, we come together in prayer for six young teens or teenagers that drowned in Louisiana Red River sinkhole yesterday, Monday, August the 2nd, 2010. And while I realize it's not an easy task, but God knows that which we does not know. O oh Lord, who art the strength of suffering and the comfort of those who are heavy heart, incline their ears, we beseech thee, O oh Lord, to the prayers of all who cry unto thee in their troubles, stress and distress, Father. O oh Heavenly Father, uphold the fainting, relieve the suffering, Father, console the sad, O oh Heavenly Father, and make thy face to shine upon the families of the six young teens who lost their lives yesterday. O oh Lord, thou lover souls whose wisdom is beyond our understanding, surround the families of these six young teenager children, Father, with your love, that they may not be overwhelmed by their laws, but have confidence in your goodness and strength to meet the day and days to come, O oh Father. May our Lord Jesus Christ be near the families to defend them, within them to refresh them, around them to preserve them, before them to guide them, behind them to justify them, above them to bless them. Oh, Father, their lives resign and resign with their families and the Father and the Holy Ghost. Their souls are bound up in ours forever, O oh, Heavenly Father. We see them now with the eyes of memory, Father. Their faults forgiven, their virtues grown larger. So does goodness live and weakness fade from thy sight, O oh Father. O oh Father, we remember them with gratitude and bless their names. Their memory is a blessing forever. And we remember as well the fallen ones, but yesterday was part of our community. To all who care for them and labor for all people we pay tribute. And may we prove worthy of carrying on the tradition of our faith. For the task is now their families, O oh Father. Their souls are bound up in all of ours forever. We give you thanks that they now live and resign with you, Father. As a great crowd of witness, they surround us with their blessings and offer your humbleness of praise and grace, O Heavenly Father. Let these six young lives live forevermore in your kingdom, Father. Let us remember and thank God whom we worship for making us your children by grace and for staining us with the bread of life. We thank you, Lord, for your presence wherever we have gathered. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, Lord, for the pardon of our sins, especially when Christians have renewed their faith and their life as Christians, who restored us to the fellowship of your faithful people, thy saint, O oh Father. We thank you, Lord, for the faith of all who have gone before us through their encouragement and to their families. We thank you, Heavenly Father. O oh, merciful Father, we give thanks. Amen.